All right, bros, welcome back to another lifting log. Last day of week 12, uh, before we move into our sort of doubles phase of the program, which is obviously next week. Makes sense to the sentence I'm saying. I am jammering and getting confused already. Anywho, so obviously, overhead press day is the primary lift today. Uh, I only recorded the last warm up set for the main lift, uh, which we are going to be looking at here. I think I, I think I just did three reps of the uh, the sixty. I don't want to exert myself too much, but it's been pretty good overall. It's been pretty good today. And then uh, yeah, so main working set, take me two and a half. I managed to get five reps. Fifth one being a bit of a grind. But the first few felt pretty, pretty. Not, I want to say easy, but it felt okay. Like I didn't feel like too much struggle. But yeah, the last sort of rep or two was a. Uh, Definitely a grind. Yeah. I tried to get one more, but I just didn't have the sort of the drive there. I feel like if I did try, I probably could have really, really ground great grinded it out. And I couldn't do floor press straight after, unfortunately, because someone was on the Smith machine, so I thought I'd go over and do some overhead press. Uh someone else has also wanted to use the rack. And I don't want to be hogging the rack all day, so I let them use the rack. I came over here to just do the sort of seated, was I think it's like ISO something something shoulder press instead. Uh, I've not done these in ages, so I weren't quite sure what weights to use. And it feels weird, to be honest, doing like these kind of movements with machines after doing just like mainly barbell stuff for like what 12 weeks now. But it felt kind of weird. Uh, I just went to the point of you know having a bit of a pump in the shoulders here. Maybe that's slow and controlled. And then I bumped the weight up a little bit more. Um, well, I've got, I've got a. So on each side, I have a 20, a 10, and a 5. So I've got a 35 on each side here. And uh, I think I managed to get. Wait, is it a 10, I think, on both? I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah. But again, I just went to a lot like a you know, sort of decent pump in the shoulders for this. Looking at it like this way, like having the the uh, the hands independent of each other, it does sort of show that I think my left arm is super weak pressing wise. Not majorly, but a little bit. I think I'm pretty even. I like to think. Yeah, and then luckily the floor press was free, so we bumped on over there. Uh, I just did a hundred again this week, just to be a bit more. Comfortable with it. I think I probably the RPE was a bit accurate today. I think it was because it meant to be RPE of eight, so sort of two ish left in the tank. And I, I think that was about right with this today. There's two sets of this, the six, and obviously then the extensions and radar flyers. Also, um, as I said in yesterday's video about the deadlifts and the sort of the lower back pain I was feeling at the top part of the deadlift, I forgot to record these. Um, but I was doing kind of rack pulls. It was just just about knees and then up to lockout is sort of the range of motion I was doing for the rack pulls. Um, I sort of worked up to like sort of say 160, the so 320 plates. Felt absolutely fine. And then I added on so be once, then I tried 170. Again, felt absolutely fine. Felt no twinging or anything in the lower back. And then I tried 200, and again, absolutely fine. No twinging or any kind of lower back pain whatsoever from the sort of from knees to lockout. I didn't feel anything there whatsoever, which kind of confuses me a little bit. I'm thinking that possibly there's something happening from like obviously from the floor and during that portion. I wasn't wearing a belt either, I was just regularly bracing. Um, nice, I think I was bracing. <laughs> I pretty sure I recorded it, it would have been a lot better to sort of go over it instead of me just trying to do it from memory. Um, but yeah, so 200, absolutely fine, sort of rack balls. So yeah, I'm thinking that maybe there's something like a, maybe a nerve being caught or something on the way up from the floor, or maybe some part of my positioning in my deadlift is a bit off. Uh, some people are saying that I have a bit of a pelvic in my setup, 
I did review some of my deadlift videos to have a look, but I couldn't see it personally. Maybe I just don't know what I'm looking for. So I'm not super experienced, but um, yeah. That is kind of going to be the end of the rant. I don't want to leave you guys just stood here looking at me laying on the floor, holding a static bar. Anyways, so I'll see you guys on Monday for our first session of our doubles for squat. Which I'm very looking forward to. Very, very excited to get into some heavy doubles work. And the volume is increasing as well next week. So obviously today was this week was a bit of a deload. So yeah, have a good weekend, guys. I hope you enjoy the videos. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Goodbye. That's going to be it.